We're gonna start with a dark gray surface primer. You wanna apply at least two coats. I start with an even light coat followed by a medium to wet coat. Remember to flash off matte between coats. This resin's a little darker, but the same steps apply. You can also use a light gray primer, although a darker base is recommended. Use the same primer steps. You can apply a third coat if you feel you need it. For the rubber black paint, I like to spray an even light coat, followed by a medium to wet coat. If you're using a lighter primer, you may need a third medium to wet coat. Again, flash off matte between coats. The left was done over light gray and the right was done over dark gray. I like to use an 800 grit sponge style sandpaper followed by a thorough wash in warm soapy water. For primers, a dark gray or black is recommended, but you can easily use a light gray with three coats of the rubber black. This paint will give you an awesome base for advanced weathering or mud effects and will be perfect for belts, hoses, and other rubber parts.